baby, we have a wild one for you this week. You want to learn a thing or two about the music industry, sweetie? You want to hear about getting your slides snatched, sweetie? You want to know what it looks like to uh, be that girl when it comes to sing-songwriting? You want to go to a warehouse and get a flash tattoo and a tooth jam? Well, tune in, bitch. Because this week we have a very extremely special guest, Noah Davies. Save us here. <laughs> Noah Davies. We have a... Cut that, cut that, cut that. Wig. We have a... Vi- Wig. M. Oh. M. Mom. Wig first choice is a big old bus. You turn around and boom, you end up with us. Ooh, that made my ears ring. Okay. Our number is 213-536-9180. Our email is sloppysecondspot at gmail.com. Now on with the show. How you stop you stupid little you not so you dirty little Well, I'm a sloppy seconds with a big group meatball and meatball and that's Big Dipper. You're energized as if you got up this morning and came to work. I did come to work. I came to work twice, baby. She came to work. Remember that amazing song by Shangela? Shangela. She really changed the game. Yeah, she really did. Remember when Shangela did like 200 shows in one year? Remember when Shangela has done a show on every single continent on this globe? Even Antarctica? Yes. What? For the penguins? I think she like did a gig up there. Well, good for her. Fact check me. Yeah, I feel someone like that get was on a, that. A wiki fact. Are you excited for today's guest? I'm very excited. I can't for believe you just sang in front of them. I was very nervous. I was very nervous. I was scream singing. Well, we all have our crutches. Shut your fat mouth. All right, go ahead and introduce. Please them. welcome the voice of an angel with the mind of a sex kitten. Our guest today is Noah, Noah Davis. Davis. Ow! You know, I've never been described as a sex kitten, and now I never want to be described as anything else. Also, you did that thing at the front, first take, one take. <laughs> Every time. Oh, ate that. Oh, my God. Thank you. That from was a, crazy. From I a was voice of an angel gagged. like you? I was actually gagged. Oh, my like, goodness. Whoa. Are okay. you, thank you. Do you are you more than one take kind of girl? Uh, yes. <laughs> Like, as I many need to takes catch a vibe. Possible. I need to catch a vibe. Will yeah. you stop in the middle or will you go all the way to the end and go, uh, let me try that again? No, I'll just stop. I'll be like, stop. Do it again. <laughs> stop. Stop now. Stop. Yeah. Do it again. Yeah. That's well, how are you, you doing? I'm doing so, I'm doing so fabulously. <laughs> yes. um, how are you doing? You you already had work today. I did do a little bit of work this morning, but I'm having a wonderful time. Okay. I'm energized. I got my Red Bull. I got my green juice. I got my bad attitude. Uh, and for three facts of life, that's all you need. <laughs> what does it take to get you up and going in the morning to get this <sighs> level of energy? What do you have to do for yourself? Um, a lot of willpower <laughs> yeah. and a nice, a nice good bowl. Got to smoke. Oh, a bowl in the okay. Yeah, not much of a drinker, but I'll do, smoke any time of day. Oh, I Are love you, that. Do you drink matcha? Are you on that train? No, I'm not okay. much of like a caffeine person in oh, general. Okay. okay. Which yeah. is like me being the, like basically I'm better than everybody. So. <laughs> she says I have natural energy. I just like I'm so energized naturally. I feel like if I smoke like uh, two or three hours before I have something to do, I'm done for for the rest mm. of the day. Like I can't will myself to get there if I'm still high. Right. Because my body's like, sit on the sofa. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. No, I hear that. No, I hear that. I you're the that. opposite. No. Oh, no. No. I'm not. I'm just like, I'll cancel shit. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for, I, not, yeah, thank canceling you for not canceling today, no, even never, though we oh like God, moved it around on Can you. Can you talk to us about these beautiful gemstones on your teeth? Yeah. Um, okay, so T, I got gemstones on my teeth for the first time like two years ago, or maybe over two years ago. I honestly don't know. And it was at a party at this warehouse and okay. this bitch had a table she was set up she was doing two gyms i was like this is the most la shit i've ever seen in my oh, whole entire sure. life two gyms at the party right next to the flash tattoos they were going in girl so <laughs> in a warehouse in a warehouse so where's the sanitation <laughs> where is the sanitation someone has got to someone's got, getting an infection wait. for sure gangrene is happening it's happening what is tonight, a, but what's a flash tattoo a tattoo, Girl. but you you get to pick off a flash sheet, so there's usually like ten. And there's options. a set price. Oh god! So 50 it's like bucks usually fifty bucks for one. You put your got name it. on the list, and they'll literally text you at the party, be like, "Hey, it's your turn. Come get a tattoo." <sighs> got it. Oh, like at uh, the party. Michael, okay, my boyfriend's it. birthday I just didn't party. Know if we had, had something a tattoo to do artist there doing that, like a, li- a light flash. No, 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 Anyways, no just like keep, a quick yeah. one. Got so, um, <laughs> yeah, they flash your eyes, so you can't see what's happening, and they're like, exactly. So. 
I got the gemstones. I paid like a hundred dollars to Ooh. get two gemstones. And I was like, that's dumb. And like, this is not a promotion. <laughs> this is not an ad. But then I found some on TikTok and they were like $30 to do them yourself. And these have been on my mouth for four months. And you did them yourself. And I did them myself at home in literally five minutes. They're called Gemsies. Go get them. I met someone who did the exact same thing. They went and had it done, and they it fell off, and they swallowed it. Mm-hmm. And well, then they were so like, "Tiny, you wouldn't even know." But on, yeah, you couldn't even tell. <laughs> but they were like, "But on Jeff Bezos's internet, you can get them for way cheaper." And he was like, "It's been stuck to my tooth for a year." Yeah. There's always a cheaper yeah. version of something. It's yeah. the musicality. It's, it's true. Yeah, your voice okay. is so beautiful. Oh, really, thank you. really is. Just the way you like use it, the intonations. I love. I wish I was talented. So for <laughs> well, we all have different. We all, we all play in the sandbox in a different, different way. We all bring something different to the table. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. You f- brought two drinks to the table. <laughs> <for that. laughs> And not one of them's liquor, you know? <laughs> oh, we gotta change that. So for folks listening at home, um, you have probably seen Noah on your television because you were a contestant on season 16 of American Idol? Yeah, like the first season back on ABC. Okay, back on ABC, that was when the like emergence of Katy Perry as a judge. Yes. And you had this like super viral moment at your initial audition. Yes. In which you said wig. Wig. And mm-hmm. she responded, oh my God, wig. Wig. Right. Tell us about that. You know what? That day <laughs> is such a blur, to be honest, because like, mind you, the the whole the way this happens, it's so TV, right? You right. know, they're like, oh, we like scour the country. For the best, no, bitch. You went on Instagram and you typed in the singing hashtag and you found right. some bitches. So I go, I, I auditioned online. I sent in a video online. They call me like months later. I forgot I even like did it. <laughs> they were like, can you do this Skype with some producers? I'm like, sure, I'll do a Skype with some producers. They're like, I did a Skype with the producers. They call me back later that night. They're like, can you get on a plane and come to LA tomorrow and audition for the show tomorrow? <gasps> Where were and you at the time? Arkansas. I'm from Arkansas. Oh, okay. Little Rock? I'm from Hot Springs. Oh. So like just south of Little Rock. Hot Springs. Hot Springs. And how old I've were you there. at the time? 18. 18. Freshman in college. Arkansas. Freshman in college. I was at Arkansas Tech University. Redneck Tech, they called it. Redneck. Scary. <laughs> yeah, right? that very seems scary. very scary. We're picking up the vibes that I'm putting down. So I'm... Um, in the library, they're like, yo, can you get on the plane? I'm like, yeah, sure. Like, everyone, all my friends were doing homework, but I was like, I'm, no. I, I'm just not, I'll be here for the vibes, like, moral support. But, so I was <laughs> excited to get a phone call. I was like, hell yeah. Like, <laughs> um, so they call, and they're like, let's do this, X, Y, and Z. I drive home, like, two hours almost back to my house, get on a plane, go to Hollywood. The next day, I got, like, two hours of sleep. I have to be there at 7 a.m. I go. I didn't sing. That audition took place at 11 p.m. Oh! <gasps> And I was there since seven o'clock in the Did morning. Did they feed you? No, but they, like you could like they, people would they, they, they if you wanted something you'd be like hey can I have this and somebody would like oh good go get it. Oh okay. Like, they're chill. It's not like it a black a tattoo. Set. You would leave and then they would text you about <laughs> it later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's honestly like kind of the same thing. You're like you find someone like wearing a badge. You're like hey I'm hungry. I need food. And you're like <laughs> okay okay. And you're like, I'll get it from you. You're like okay. <laughs> but, it's like, but they're chill. Like they're chill about it because they know it's like a long. <laughs> so I finally go in to sing and I'm just kind of delirious at that point. I'm like, yeah. what am I doing? What's happening? Right. I practiced for like 10 minutes, like six hours ago. So right. I'm like, cool. <laughs> this is really fantastic. Um, So I'm like, what the fuck? So I walk in and I, I don't even know what I said, but I just remember her saying like, I love you. And I was like, oh my God, wig. Cause like, I, I didn't, <laughs> and my, I wasn't even like on Twitter. Like I didn't even know that that was like a thing. I just had a friend in college who said it and I thought it was the funniest thing in the whole entire universe. So I was like, oh my God, wig. I started saying it all the time. So I was like, oh my God, wig. And she was like, did you say wig? And I was like, yeah. She was like, wig, I feel that already. <laughs> and I was like, tea as you should. Like, period. Like, <laughs> yes, like, yeah. No, oh I feel God, that. Like, we're here to, and I was like, we're here together. Like, it's obvious that like me and you, like we have something going. We go together real bad. Yeah. So the other two, gr- the other two g- g- girls, the other two guys are like, what's, what is wig? And she's like, no. Duh. Shut up. It's just for us. Straighties. No, we're not doing that. We're not, this is not history right now. We're not doing that. So then we're, she's like, sing. And I was like, okay. And then I will admit, like, I'm sitting at the piano and she's like, wig. And I'm like, wig. And I was like, that was too much. Right. Like, that was too much. She the brought last, it back the, 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 Yeah. And I was like, why would you do that? So it made us both look a little bad. If we had left it at the first wig and like, that was it. And then like one at the end to really like nightcap it. Yeah. <laughs> That would have been better, and I will say that. But you a, never know what they're going to use. But you don't know. You never know. You never know. She opted to use it. She opted. I forgot I did that too. Like I wasn't even when I came out, and my dad's like, 
because my, my dad was there, sweet angel. My dad's there. He's like, what, what happened? And I was like, I, I got it. I sang and I got a ticket. And he's like, cool. He's like, oh my God, like what happened? I was like, they gave me a hug. And he was like, cool. Like, and, the, and I was like, they stood up for me. And he was like, cool. I like that conversation was not even like. Because for you, it was so. Natural. You, I just it was like, like you were thinking about I, I just like, yeah, it was just like the conversation. I thought it was just like the casual like flow of conversation. Like, um, I thought it was just like the casual flow of conversation. Right. I was like, I thought, you know, this is what we're, it's just fine. So I didn't even like really realize it. And then like I go home and obviously like nobody from Arkansas literally ever does anything like ever. Yeah. So like the news was like. There's one a year. Literally like there's like four people from there total and like nobody does anything. So the the news is like, you have to like be on the morning news. And I'm like, that's <laughs> slay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how so how much time elapsed from when you filmed it to when it sort of became a moment in your life so I auditioned at the end of like November of 2017 uh-huh and then the show itself like the pre-filmed portion was filmed January like into February vibes got it and then the show aired in March Oh okay. Oh so, uh, okay. So that's re- so, that's a fast turnaround. Yeah, a couple Fairly months. quick turnaround. So yeah. by the time, by the time I had come back from filming Hollywood because I obviously got eliminated in the top fifty, so I didn't make it to the lives. Right. So I was like, I was there for like three weeks, and then I left, and I was like, that's all I had to do, and I came back for the finale. But the they. By the time that I had come home, they had announced that American Idol was having another season, and then they like it was like public knowledge that there was like commercials and they started airing my commercial oh. that ABC had sent to them in for Arkansas. So they're like, oh. you have to come be on like the show. Cause we're going to talk about you being like an Arkansan who's going to be on American Arcan- Idol. Arkansan. So, an Arkansan. So yeah, that was a slight. I don't really know where I was going with that, but yeah, I was no, like, morning no, I mean, Arkansas. you were answering the question that we asked. Yeah. And that's so crazy. So, but now you actually full time live here in LA. Yeah. Full time. Been here for five years. All right, last Katy Perry question. Okay. Have you I've seen worked her with her before. Oh, you have more? How was that? No. It was nice. She was really fun. Okay. That's not how you usually tell it. It's oh. a very different version of that story, but. I no. T- oh, my God. Because her friend is here? Because you're no, no, no. C- Wig. <laughs> we didn't want to wig. talk. That was oh, it? You That's haven't seen her? You don't, you don't you live in her had? guest house? No, Ben. She didn't said Wig, come move in? <laughs> no. She was like, I saw her at a birthday fatty. party one time. Fuck you, fatty. <laughs> that's what she said to me, too. Oh, my God. No, so that's what you have yes. well, Wait, I've actually she didn't interacted invite, with her numerous times. She but didn't the invite one... you to come witness at the house? <laughs> no, no, no. But you know what's tea, though? She, like, followed several people from the season and, yeah. like, interacts with them. And she didn't follow me. I was like, bitch, you that put is... that on the map. You yeah, put her like, on the was, map. Like, was, she like... was on the downswing. <laughs> no, okay. I'm going to get into I've been attacked for this once before, so I'm, I can't, I'm not going to get into it. But yeah, she, she, witness. she, I, I witnessed some bullshit, girl. It's like, it was too much. It's, yeah. It's, yeah, but it's fine. Like, I don't, it's not, it doesn't affect me. And like, she doesn't owe me anything, obviously. But there was like, there was like definitely five or six of us from that first season who like cemented the fact, like, girl, she's back. Yeah. In full swing. American Idol, the pop culture icon itself. Do you, are you still friends with people that you met in that three week period? Oh, yeah, for sure. Down? For sure, for sure, for sure. Um, remember, we remember Katie Turner. She's everything. <laughs> Do we have tea with Katie Turner? No, Should I, I call no, her? I actually call her tell her she's a bitch. Neither of us know anyone okay, but you from oh, that season. Good, then why don't <laughs> those bitches? We don't have yeah, to Yeah, I was them. just curious if you like Fuck made them. friends or if it was yeah, like, no, 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 kind of a gross Hollywood experience. Is it something that you there still was, like work with them or Yeah, there's are you like on your definitely own? like a few that I still like if they're in town we hang out. There's nice. some who like live here that I'm like we are always hanging out. Like um de- some of my like first super cool like, oh, like, I, I'm in Hollywood. I had, like, a Hollywood experience. It was because, like, I came here and, like, had a few people that I knew. And I was like, hey, let's hang out. They're like, okay, let's go do this. And I was like, okay. Let's go to the so warehouse party downtown. <laughs> yeah, we can get a flash tattoo and some tooth gems. <laughs> yeah, baby. Aww. All right, we'll be right back after this. Break. And we're back. Sing. <laughs> Sing. Sing. So how did you get into music? Um, I was a church kid. I was a ch- I know. Oh, church to gay pipeline is crazy, girl. It- <laughs> it's crazy. Girl, it's- girl. Church to sickening runs pipeline is also oh, crazy. Oh, yeah, they just do it different. Like, one thing, you know, like... <laughs> They Here's do it different what? in the house, what? What in the house of God. What is that? The 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 church girlies are singing down. Mm-hmm. 
They're oh, singing. Yeah. They're they're singing down like yes, in, yes, in a yes. way that's like not right. When you're oppressed at every other turn, it's got to come out somewhere. I mean, Whitney was a church girl, oh, of course. Church girls are just oh god, they're doing it different. Do you? I I find this so interesting. I was not raised in the church. Okay. I obviously think anyone, regardless of their sort of religious affiliation, can feel the soul of gospel music right. and of like a church choir singing, really mm-hmm. singing. You can't help but feel that it's emotional. Yeah, that it's like course. you know a beautiful thing. And that organ helps too. But, well, I mean, the organ is less <laughs> less less interesting to me. Okay. That's the part that you find so beautiful. Right? <laughs> I like those low notes. I you like, like the all feel the pipe. Bass. You like all and the I pipe. love a lot of pipe. Um, but do you feel like? Do you still feel a connection, or have you felt ostracized by religion, even though that music is the connection? I mean, like I. I think I understand. For being gay for is being what I'm gay. talking about. <laughs> no, for sure. I think, thank you. Um, I love that. Um, no, it's it's funny because like. Don't bring I, a young person in here to bully them. I'm sorry. No, please. We're supposed to be more. mentors. No, 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 no. no. Cause when, I, I just, just like, I think it's. React. I I, can't, like I don't know how to react to anything. It's the thing. I just literally don't know anything. So. <laughs> It, I don't feel like necessarily ostracized by people because I get it. Like being a person who's definitely like in my life felt the need to like, I need something to hold on to that makes me feel like I'm a grounded individual. Right. Mm-hmm. And like, thank God, th- thank God I'm talented. Um, like I can make music. Like if right. I want, if I have something that I need to say, need to do, need to get through, need to work through, blah, 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 I can make a song about it. And like, n- no, not many people have that ability. True. So I get needing to hold on to something. I just hate when, because there's plenty of Christian people who are so kind and it's like so right. loving mm-hmm. and so, ex- like, they don't, they don't give a f-. They, they read the Bible because they're going through the f- They need to know that somewhere in the universe somebody's watching over them. And that's right. okay. Yeah. Right. And I live for that, but I just hate it when, like, people get get weird about it. Because, like, my whole family is chill. Like, my family is very, very chill. I came out and they're like, we know. And I was like, tea. Right. Oh, that's great. So, that's like, different for the South. Yeah, very different. And I feel very lucky. And it's definitely not everybody's yeah. um, situation. But there are, you know, I think there's there's good in every group of people. And you've even written about it, right, in your song Holy Water. Yeah. There's, like, I, I think I remember watching a video of you play it for your dad or for mm-hmm. another family member as, like, pr- promotional. But yeah. you were, like, these are the lyrics that I felt at the time. Yeah. And I think as queer people, we have all felt that, like, even if, like, no one around us is showing signals that they're going to kick us out of the house yeah. or ostracize mm-hmm. us or be hateful. We can still feel the fear of that. Yeah. And you like put that all into a song, which was so beautiful. Yeah. And I think like I, just the type of person I am, I invite a lot of hate into my life. Cause I like, I'm big and I'm loud and I do what I do. And like people, there's always going to be people who don't like that from yeah. literally anybody. Right. So like, I think that's, it came from that. It's like, I've just had so many people because I think a lot of people viewed me as this very like innocent, like kind, like little bubbly character from because of American Idol. Yeah. But it's like, that was just like me at one portion of time. I was like super nervous that day and I didn't even know what I was doing. I was like, that's not me at all. Yeah, 12 hours. That was like 14 hours. Five five years ago. I'm like, yeah. And so people like still like, expect that person I think mm. and it's like weird to me but that's what that kind of song was about because a lot of people from my hometown and stuff like that have said stuff to my mom or said stuff to like my family or messaged me or put it on public forum on like social media like I we went to school together da, 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 and I don't agree with you I'm praying for you blah 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 and I think that's what that's like it's crazy it's the crazy confrontational I'm praying for you is so wild to me <sighs> people from heart. my hometown still do that to my mom about me is that not wild? It's so weird because it's like, What's this is none of your business. Not I'm about the literally... drag, though. Just about your body shape. Just my body type. Yeah. Grimace. Yeah. <laughs> somebody, oh my God, somebody literally commented on my Instagram the other day, homie is built like Grimace. <gasps> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, again, I love it. I think it's very funny. Somebody also said I was built like a lunch lady and I was like, that's, 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 that's kind of tea. Kinda, that's, you I was like, like ah, honestly, Halloween yeah. Next year. I mean, mm-hmm. Sometimes if it's funny, I don't get insulted. Yeah. I'm like, okay, that's kind of It's good. funny because when it's like creative, I'm like, all right, you kind of ate that, that one little thing. One. You right. I don't like you, but you kind of you, but also like. <laughs> but we kind of get each other, <laughs> right, right, right? Okay, so you were just talking about if you like have a feeling or something and you want to get it out, you'll make a song. Mm-hmm. What is your songwriting process? How do you get the like music together? I work with amazing, talented producers. They're so good. The people I usually work with, there's 
Austin Armstrong. We love Austin. Matt Foray and these guys, Colin and Alex, they like are just everything. But I'll like usually, I'll like, oh my God, I need to do, I need to write a song about this. Like I need, this is, even if it's like a lie or fake, because I love doing that too. Mm -hmm. Just like I, a story to tell. It's like, oh, I just came up with like a fun story and that would be a cool song. Right. It's like, I need to work on this. And so I'll probably like come up with some shit on my own or whatever. And then text me like, hi, hey, like boys. I need, um, <laughs> I need Team a day. A symbol. I, I literally like, I'm assembling my Avengers. I'm like, yeah. come to me, <laughs> come to me. And they're all straight, which is hilarious. Oh, and, like, I love that. Like, yeah. And, but they're like, they're like my little honorary gays now because like they like say tea and work and, <laughs> Like slay and like it's amazing. Like, um, it's just great. Like they say cunt. And I'm like, uh -huh. yes. yes like, when, they, when they say cunt, I'm like, oh, you're yassified. I love that. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my god. It's so good. Yeah, Beyonce helped really yassify that the world. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot. I said to my neighbor the other day and it okay. like triggered her. She wow. was like, oh, oh, okay. Why? What like, what are you talking to your neighbor about? The way you took the garbage out was I forgot. I was like, oh, something about this was so Da, 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 da. Oh, and she like didn't love they it. They never get it. Yeah. I would like women. when I'm in Arkansas and like just casual like stranger conversation, like da, 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 like in a bar or something like yeah. that. I'm like, oh my god, that's and they're like, what? And I'm like, like, get, what get word did you say? <laughs> you don't even deserve to be in my air. Like, it's like, we're not the same. Like, you don't get me. I don't get you. You have to get away from me right now. <laughs> I hate it. So what is your LA life like? What are you up to? You going to the Grove? Who are you hanging out with? I... Influencer diva. I love influencer divas. They're my favorite. Me They're too. like so like self unaware. I'm like yes, <laughs> dance at the Grove in front of everybody. Um, <laughs> it's like so I'm good. always trying to get you to dance. I around. will never do anything like that in public. I like what want if I to. Pay I some money. Absolutely, I'll do it <laughs> yeah. for the right amount, bitch. I don't do anything. The girls came to work. Shangela. <laughs> no, it's true. Um, I I don't know. I. Uh, I used to love the Grove, actually, mm -hmm. like low key. Cause when I first moved here, I lived in West Hollywood, and it was like so cute. And I was like, oh my god, I'm going to the Grove. But um, <laughs> yeah, no, I I usually stay to myself. I'm kind of like a homebody, okay. to be honest. Like, I don't I don't go out a lot. We were talking about that earlier before the, before the cameras were rolling. Uh um, <laughs> uh, I don't go out a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Like I I know like it seems by my music that I'm just like always like going uh -huh. out and popping. But or like no, wearing no, no. lingerie and <laughs> riding. Yeah, well that, yeah, that can be <laughs> that can, can be do that at home. home. <laughs> that Who, can be done. You're at the home. only person doing that out. I yeah. do that out in the world. He does that in the club. <laughs> As you should. Somebody has to. Well, you know. Yeah. There's a space we need for representation all of us. for everybody. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. So I'm usually like at home like chilling or working on music yeah. or I'm like I'm going home um soon to see my family. So that's to gonna Arkansas. be fun. Arkansas. To Arkansas. How girl. often are you going back? I go twice a year. Okay. Does it feel like culture shock now? It does, but it's also like a it's like a fun game to me now. Like I'll go and like I'll just go to Walmart looking like this, mm -hmm. just for, just to provide someone with some culture. Do, do, do people say anything? And they're like, oh, yeah. oh, you're the influencer who went to the Shein factory. Yes, actually, I get that comment like a million times a day. Stop! You're, you guys are really calling me out right now. What did she call herself? The confidence. Influ the confidence influencer. <laughs> what Literally, is her name? Um, her name is Danny, oh. and she's an <laughs> is, sign autographs on her behalf. No, no, but she's actually like she's actually like stun. Yeah, she's, she's like gorgeous. a plus size model. Oh, no, she like gorgeous. has like the best fashion ever. But anyways, I do get I get that a lot. <laughs> so many times people will comment on myself, and be like, I thought this was a Sheen influencer. Ah! And I'm just like, oh my, I mean, like honestly, slay, like slay. Good, it's, slay. it's good. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. But you also worked on Hulu Queen, am I right? Halloween Drag Stravaganza. That's what it was. Oh, how was that? It was so fun. Yeah. Like that was like so 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 much fun. They like um, Disney is like the you know big picture person who's like putting that together. And at the time, because um, I think they own Hulu. Do yes, your boss. Yeah. <clears throat> so I can't remember like what was happening, but at the time. This guy who worked at Disney was like, oh, my God, we're doing this thing and Noah would be perfect for it. It's gay and it's, like, fun and, like, we need him. So I was like, Slay, let's do it. Um, and I ended up working on, like, three of the songs. And I think there was, like, five or six. But we they just, like, had to, like, we're doing this thing. We are having a scene that's about this and we need a song that talks about this. And, like, Go. make it fun. Yeah. That's so, so like, So did you work with Jackie Beat? I did. Yeah. I Wait, was did. this your first time working with like drag queens on that type of a scale? Yeah. 
Wow. Yeah. Cause and we'll Jackie be... Beat, she's such a nice lady and everyone enjoys A great enjoys collaborator. Her. Such so an easy person to, to work with and always and so nice to be around. And always wears and just high such heels. a lady. Yeah, she's never in a flat. Y'all are going to hell for lying. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love Jackie. No, I, we, I, she was tra- an icon. We've been yeah, no, trying to get Jackie she's... in this room for a long time and she's made it very clear. She has she's... no interest. No, she has interest, but just on a day when she's already <laughs> doing something else, so she's in drag. Exactly. I love that, actually. So Jackie because... will be future guest of the program, Jackie B. I love that. No, she was so fun. We wrote the songs before we, like, like songwriters got together and, like, wrote the songs before, like, the cast. we worked with any of the drag queens. But then they had, like, a day that the queens were coming in to record the music. And they're like... Do you guys want to come? And they're like, actually, like, I don't think we need anybody. I was like, no, I'm still coming. Like, yeah, I'd be like, I, I need to see. I have I'm the saying. address in my email. I'm going to be there. Like, don't fucking play with me right now. <laughs> so I showed up and it was super fun. Like, yeah. and we had a great time. Um, and everyone was like super slay. I think I only I like got to meet like half the people who were on the cast. And That's amazing. Fun. Is songwriting something like for other people? Something that comes really easily to you and that you're like interested in? Yeah, I think I've always when even in school I was always like good at writing like if it was like a creative writing or write a story about prompt or something like that like like literal analysis ew but like something fun and creative like yeah like slay, let's do it <laughs> so um i used to love like writing people's college admission essays like the personality <gasps> ones because i could just like lie yes <laughs> lie but also just like say what they wanted to say and like make it sound like they were a f- hero like that they were a community like leader like you didn't do sir like you worked at the gas station but like also slay like we're gonna get you into college baby so like i used to just like do that because it was fun and it was like fun to like write stuff like that is that not so that is so sick i I love that it's so funny but it was like it was it was fun and i like doing that so like i i find that same thing because when people when songwriting is a very emotional like yeah. deep thing like you come in and it's a lot of times people are talking about something the worst thing that's literally ever happened to them and they're like let's write a song about it so I like taking what somebody says to me and they're like I want a song that sounds like this that's about this be like work let's make it which is crazy that's so cool too because like I mean the old, he simple. needs help <laughs> Don't don't eat him up like that. The only example that comes to mind about the thing you're talking about is like from A Star Is Born when Lady Gaga is like singing the ballad at the end about you know her dad. I'll never love again. Yeah, and what's crazy about that is that so many of those good songs are written about the most emotional or like the worst time. And then if 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 it actually if. You're not just the artist, but you're the songwriter too. Right. You have to live through that every time. It's like Adele cries when she's doing some of her biggest hits yeah. because mm-hmm. they ring that true to her, Literally. which is how I feel about my song. About my song Thickies. Mm. That's how I feel about my song Gluck Gluck 5000. What mm. about April hits. Showers? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh. Wow. <laughs> you have a song called April Showers? I. He does. Go ahead. It's beautiful. Uh, it, and, and it, the hook and one, two. I three, can't because what? the parent drip, company drip, of drop little April showers. These little band, da, da, band. don't f- around. Yeah, what is it? Because, I'm that big dip and me don't f- around. It's because oh, the the, is it the parent <laughs> company uh, is the same company. So I I stopped. That was the first song I ever wrote, and it was like a parody of a Disney song. Oh god! But I like buried it because otherwise they would sue me. Yes, yes, um, yes. I love getting sued by Disney. That's kind of. <laughs> Does it is kind of you? a sleigh. Like, if, no. I will say, before I put but the song out. But it would be fine. Out, yeah. <laughs> I was, right. I was smart enough that before I put the song out, the first ever time when I was, like, launching my music career, I did meet with a lawyer ahead of time. And I was like, this was meant as, like, a side project, like a hobby, like a joke. Mm-hmm. Then we, like, made a music video, and now I want to put it out because I think mm-hmm. it's fun. But I'm not, like, going to make money off this or anything. Mm-hmm. I was like, could they sue me? And he was like, no, you're parody fine. Law. It's parody law. You're okay. And he like wrote me a whole brief about it, and I was like, "Oh, this is great. I've done my due diligence." Wow. Yeah. Businesswoman. Try. Um, <laughs> but when it comes to songwriting, I think when you're the outsider looking in, you can almost see the person clearer. Like I wrote a song for her, and it came out of me in about twenty seconds. Oh yeah, it was good too. Because you're just like, "Oh, this is who you are. I got you." And when yeah. you're the artist, you're like, "I've written twenty five, thirty, a hundred songs about myself already. Yeah. I can't. I have no longer have like the access point." 
Right. If that makes sense. Also, I listen to so many diff like so much different music that like if I'm like in a certain lane, like right now I'm like very much so in like an R and B lane. Mm. But like I like writing everything. So right. it's like I can't like it's pointless to write it for myself because it'll never see the light of day and I don't want to waste people's time. But like I can go find like Paul or Mary Jake over there and write something for them. Peter, Paul, they, and Mary? Who's, yeah. Who's an artist that you would like die to write a song for right now? Mm, that's a great question. Mine would be Mary J. Blige. Oh, slay Mary J. Blige. I mean, I'm not a good songwriter and Hateration. I have nothing going on, but I would like to just hang out with her. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? She's a, she's an icon. She's a total I would icon. write a song for Mary J. Blige, for sure. I, could, I would love to write a song for like SZA. Oh, that feels oh, very that feels you. Yeah, I would love to write a song for SZA. I would also love to write a song for Kim Petras. Oh yeah, I, yeah. She needs she to needs start a better working one with new people. Yeah, she's got to have something better. <laughs> she agree. How about Victoria Monet? Everything. Yeah. She's How about Monet Exchange? Everything. <laughs> Ginger <laughs> Minj. Everything. I, I, Jackie Beat. Everything. I've worked with all these people. I know. That's why I'm asking. They're all amazing. Have you, so you've written with Monet? I didn't no. write any. We worked together, but she also like oh followed, just on the Hulu she followed movie. me after the thing and like we keep up with her. Yeah. She's like super nice she's and I like her. Best. But we, she like also like she she's an R and B girly. She likes R and B, so she was like, oh, I love this. So yes. we stand. Um, I did a show one time in Texas with Ginger, and she was like so fun. She Ginger's sings. The best. She yeah. sings really well too. She's so like, good. So good. And it was Broadway. like yeah, she did Poor Unfortunate Souls, and it was like actually I was like gagged from the back. I was supposed to be doing like a photo like thing with people, and I was like stop for a second. <laughs> I literally have, have to watch this right now. This exactly. Song. What do your gigs look like out on the road? Um, it's usually like Pride stuff because yeah. like up until now I've done like more poppy like gay fun stuff like that so like yeah. it's a bunch of pride people like hit me up so I've done a bunch of pride shows which is always like fun because it's a built in <laughs> did you get a shiver down your spine, down spine. She did you feel the Holy Spirit pride. right and do you have a negative pride experience I just don't like any of them really sure okay but keep going I'm sorry I didn't mean to make that about me <laughs> no, no, no. you I, did every, it everything could be about you the you one the one and only time you kill yourself <laughs> <laughs> oh welcome <laughs> I don't <laughs> yeah thank you don't do that um <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, until we're done, because okay, this it. is a great conversation. Yeah, okay. So, oh, uh, uh, gigs. So yeah, it's always it's built in like fans. Like yeah. they're gonna, it's gay people are gonna like love anything gay. It's like right. so it's the like ones showing up to Pride are just there to experience Have something gay. You yeah. know what I mean? So that's always fun, and they like pay good because gay people like know how to pay people. Yeah, most of the time. I love most gay time. people. All right, let's take a break. We'll be right back. And we're, we're back! Whoa. Now, I don't mean to like that? nerd out so much about music stuff, but no, like, I love. you know, you promote yourself and your songs because you have a ton of releases you put out, singles you put out, projects. Like, you've mm -hmm. been just consistently putting out music with your um, Avengers Assemble team. Yes. Um, but you have done like a really great job of marketing yourself on social media without any sort of like, big music video, big release. Like they're all TikTok videos or Instagram videos. And it's like you singing on a rooftop or you sharing a song with your dad or you, why is that the choice rather than like, cause like what I've been doing for a decade is putting out like big production value music videos out of my own pocket mm -hmm. and been like, is there, does it work? Is mm -hmm. there a return? Fingies crossed. That's why. Yes. That's why right there. Because here's the thing is that I have so many releases and I want to release so many more and right. it's very expensive to like mm -hmm. do that. Like people like in the beginning, people are down to be like, oh, like you don't, nobody like knows who you are. We, this is your first like round of stuff. Like we'll split it on the back end and like we'll do it for free or whatever. Right. But then like the more you work and the more you release and like you, the more followers you have or the more da 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 da, people are like, oh, we want to, we need to be paid, which is like tea. Like everyone, everyone yeah. oh, deserves yeah. to like, Get you know, paid. get their bread. So it just becomes, it can start out as a hobby, but when you start doing it like all the time, like you probably know it gets expensive. Yeah. It gets so expensive. So I think like at the end of the day, what equals like money the most is getting people to purchase or like listen to the song. Right. And I think like having something that looks fun and like aesthetic and like high quality, but like maybe not a full like budget 
shoot that's like three minutes long and has a whole crew is like a great way to get people to listen to the song because I also feel like the way the industry is set up is that everyone knows that there's a glass ceiling that money causes right. mm-hmm. in making music and I think that the idea is that you have to garner some sort of self-made attention self-made accolades to make the people who can afford to spend money on a question mark yes interested in being i wish i there it was is. smart enough like this at 24 well, you should have learned it took you 10 years god damn it <laughs> yeah and i didn't even start my career until i was 26 28 um that is so, I mean, it's true. It's like, you can't even get in the room. They're like, how many followers do you have? Oh, you, you, you haven't even broken 100,000? Like, we're not seeing you. You could be the most talented person in the world. And you literally, there are these barriers to even begin to play the game. It's mm-hmm. like, you have to do all these things on your own. Which I think that's like starting to shift too because it was mainly like a the the TikTok thing like made a bunch of people, mm-hmm. the, the metrics and data yeah. people I mean, like come out of the woodworks. Sex. Like that was all, that Lil Nas, all came I out spy- of- Yes. Um, like oh, yeah. Pink Panthers, like the girls are popping, which is amazing. And I love that. But I think there are also like a bunch of people had a, something go super viral and then never, we never saw their face literally. And ever they again. got big yeah. deals out big of it. Big deals. Too. Millions of dollars were spent on some of these artists who will never, ever recoup that. And so I think labels are like trying to figure out how they get back to development, but like, there's no money. Mm-hmm. So they're like really, they're getting rid of a lot of people. I know so many people who are just getting dropped from their labels like flies That's right now. So Cause crazy. there's really no, there's no money. There's no money to give to development. So they're trying to like buy catalogs and do deals to like make money on back end so that they can figure out, okay, what are we going to do with our business? And it's becoming like, no, I don't, I think the labels are going to become obsolete, honestly, but I've heard something similar about buying the catalogs and then using the samples. Yeah. Yeah. It's the, that it's all just to keep the money circulating within, but mm-hmm. also that Spotify and like Apple Music is the reason that there's not a lot of money because yeah. when people don't yeah. buy the album, there's no money going to the actual. Do you remember? I mean, you don't, but when we went to the record stores. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they didn't exist when you were around. Oh my you know, God. and you would, like, go and you would, like, listen ahead of time. Yes, you would have to put on those headphones that everyone shared. And you would listen ahead of time. Yum. And sometimes you could preview the yeah. CD, but you couldn't take it home with you because the Britney album wasn't out yet. And then you pay $18 for yeah. the album. And you're like, this is important to me. And I spent money on this. Like, like I just listen to Nikki's new album. And you just, like, press a button. Yeah. And guess who gets the majority of that money? Steve Jobs. Harp, Steve Harp. <laughs> it is Steve so, Harvey. It is so interesting. Yeah, I think it's like like something will shift. At sh- some something point. will, but yeah, I think there there's like a everything just as like most I- I- entertainment industries things are just like a little crooked and like I think in the past like <laughs> ten years people are saying more about it because it's like why the f- wouldn't we somebody talk about it? Yeah. yeah. But like songwriters aren't paid for their contributions mm-hmm. to. Music, and it's so crazy. Like, it's like the art, like the person you're working with, the artist is going to be like, "I'll pay you a flat fee to come be in the studio with me as a mm-hmm. songwriter," and the label never even gets involved with that. Or sometimes the label's paying, but like that's crazy. But here, the the gag, is the no gag ownership? is most of the time that's not even like that's not even how the tea is. If you want to get in the studio with like um, the biggest artist ever, says that it's not paying a day rate, never, ever, ever. You're just and that's lucky the thing. to be there. Literally. So let me tell you this. I, I'm going to, I'll tell you, this is kind of, this is a gag. This is a gag, gag, gag. So songwriters go in. Every song is kind of made up. I'd like to think of it as 200%. 100 is the master and 100 is the publishing. The master is owned by, if it's an independent artist, the artist, but if it's a label, the majority of the master is owned by the label because that's what generates money is the master is the final product that zip file of the of the song and then you have the other 100 percent, which is publishing which is what goes for songwriting and composition so anyone who like made a melody or a lyric or something that made up the song is publishing this makes like 80 percent of the money and this makes like 20 percent of the money and this is split a lot of times on major label records Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Some of Beyonce's have fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Uh-huh. Oh my! So God. in that you only get money over here if it if it's being played 
on like the radio, right? on a on a commercial, in a TV show, in if it's movie. something that can be tracked numerically, if it's being strung like streamed on Spotify, this is making little to nothing. This is making not a lot, but okay. You can do okay yeah. over here. But if you're not getting in the room with somebody who is going to radio, you're not gonna make it as a songwriter. Unless unless people start paying songwriters, a big thing right now is people need to be giving songwriters part of this. Yeah. Because right now, songwriters, the, the standard is, are not entitled to this at all, ever, anytime. There's no union for music either. Is it? There's not like not a- Not really. SAG or anything. Not really, no. That's crazy. 